We're going to practice cow again in this video because cow is kind of fun to know and uh, we'll, we'll get, it'll help us get used to it. And uh, this time, instead of a, uh, a stir and a string, we're going to uh, make a cow that can either return a slice of an array or a vec. And uh, I didn't really talk about slices of arrays, so let's start with that. So let's say, um, you know, you have uh, x, this is an array of, uh, of i32s, so that's pretty easy. And, uh, you know, you can print it out, you know, you can index by doing like uh, x0, you put these, uh, you know, square brackets after, and that is, you know, of course, really easy. Um, now, if um, if you want to take a look uh, inside a uh, have a slice like just a, a view of a uh, of an array, then what you do is uh, so imagine you know we're looking at this. Let's say we want uh, indexes zero to ten. Uh, we know how to do that. Uh, if you take out the uh, the last one, then uh, this will be all the indexes starting with uh, with zero. And if you take that out, you actually don't need the zero. This means uh, a uh, you know all of the indexes and then uh, you put the uh, the ampersand on to uh, to make sure that it is a reference to it and that is called so that is a slice and so we can uh, this will be of type uh, let's see type is that so this is like a slice of uh, you would call this a uh, slice of i32s so um, so that's how that works. So we're going to try to uh, do that with a, uh, a function that will return either this or or vec, depending on what we decide. So return slice or vec, <clears throat> and let's uh, let's bring in the cow, so we can uh, we can write our function properly. So let's uh, let's comment it out so we don't confuse Rust. And uh, you know, usually we. Um, Let's just give it the, the slice right away. So the input is going to be, that's the type we just looked at. So we're going to give it a slice of that, and we would like to return a cow. And you can see cow has a, a lifetime here. So let's just, uh, let's give it a lifetime. We'll just say A, actually I'm gonna say cow lifetime. That's kind of fun. And then this, uh, this B, this type is going to be the, um, the I32s. And you know, you, um, cow if it's uh, if it's borrowed it's going to uh, make it into a reference so we don't uh, we don't put the ampersand here it's going to do it for us and uh, so over here um, the function needs uh, a lifetime as well so we'll call it cow lifetime and then over here cow lifetime of i32s and that's kind of long let's change it to cow 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 lifetime of cow so there you go so it all lives as long as the cow, and uh, that should make Rust happy. Now we are going to say, uh, so what are we going to return? Let's match the uh, input dot length. So we're going to say if it's from zero to five items, let's make it into a vec. So we're going to, this time we'll do it differently. We'll say cow, uh, not, bo not uh, borrowed, should be owned, because a vec is an owned type. And uh, arrays have a uh, method called uh, two vec, so we'll do that. So we'll say if it's zero to five, I'm giving you um, I'm giving you a vec, um, and then otherwise uh, we're going to say it's going to be a cow borrowed, and we are just going to uh, give it input, and let's see uh, let's see if it if it complains or not if we missed anything. Uh, cow, that's right, we didn't bring in cow. That's easy. Use standard world cow. All right, let's see if it's happy now. Uh, yep, it's happy. So let's uh, let's take this out so we can see what we're doing. We don't need that slice anymore. Uh, so we'll make one called x, uh, return slice or vec. And so we will give it um, a slice. 9, 10, like that. So it's four, four long. And then over here, return slice of vec. And we'll make it a little bit longer. And then, uh, and there we go. So uh, make sure we get that. 
rest is happy still and let's uh, let's print it out and this is going to show you this this other interesting thing about cow which is uh, how uh, how it does display so let's see X and Y so let's uh, let's print that out and you can see so we have uh, you know we have uh, X and Y and it just looks like a uh, a regular slice or a regular vec we can't even see you know what it is uh, and that's because of uh, how it does display so rest or cow implements display by just uh, so we've implemented display before you know you just say this is how I want it to display and if it's borrowed it uh, it just it uses display on the on the thing inside which is uh, which is going to be the uh, the slice, and uh, if it's not, then it's going to use display on the you know on the thing inside again, which this time is a vec. So actually, if you uh, so that's why it can display uh, like that. But uh, and if it were if it gave a string or a stir, then it could display. But uh, if you try to display with these uh, with the regular uh, brackets, then it's going to say you can't do it because it's actually sneaky sneakily it's uh, it's giving us the uh, the type inside instead of just being a cow so it's um, so it's saying hey I can't print out this uh, this uh, uh, slice of i32 and here it's saying I can't uh, I can't print it out without using uh, without using debug but if you um, if you do this uh, this technique we use to uh, to get uh, to get rust mad then it's not going to say it's a vec it's going to say hey it's a cow so here, cow of something in I32, cow of something of I32. So it's uh, a cow is really good at hiding itself. And that's why you see it uh, in the, you know, in this from UT, UTF-8 lossy, uh, that thing that, um, that we looked at before. So it returns a, a cow, but when you try to print it, a uh, cow is going to give the thing inside and print that. So if you uh, actually want to look at the... Uh, the cow itself, uh, you know, you'd have to see if it's borrowed or not, then you'd have to match on the enum. And we know how to do that. We did it last video. But uh, this is just a cool example to show that, uh, that you know, cow is really good at hiding itself. It's you usually don't uh, even know that you're using a cow until you look at the signature and then you realize, oh, this, uh, you know, this vec or this, uh, this slice has been a cow all along. So that's how cows work.